Melissa Militano and Johnny Johns of the United States. They're going to open with something special. It's a split, triple, twist, followed by a throw double axle, and then even more, there's a first one. Look at that! Mike! Now what? They now step in. Woo! <laughs> they now step into a thrust throw double axle jump, and then she goes into a triple toe wally. Watch it here. See if they do it. Here it is. First it double. She fell out of it slightly, but see. And she did a triple twist afterwards, but fell out of that too. But what an opening. What an opening. Side by side double flips. Oh, what a shame that they fell off those next two movies. Oh. They're in fifth place coming to this final phase. Trying very hard, as you can see, to move up, possibly to third. They have another extremely difficult move. A throw triple loop jump. This is what they fell on last year. There it is. Oh, 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 and again. What a vain thing that happened in Munich last year. Oh. This is the young girl. 19 years old, who used to skate with her brother Mark. He retired from competitive skating, and she joined with Johnny Johns. Last year, they had only skated together for a very short time in the game of the World Championships. Now, with another year together, they had really hoped to make a big impression on those opening moves they did, but now trouble. I might say that this goes back to a very old rule in competitive skating and in training purposes. And that is that you must always hold back at the beginning of your performance. If you fly off the handle, you will never get back and get control of yourself. And I'm afraid that's what happened here. They, in a sense, flew off the handle, creating a superb opening move, and then lost out on the next moves. They are now probably back under control. We're at the World Figure Skating Championships in Colorado Springs. On the ice, Melissa Militano and Johnny Johns of the United States, who finished eighth in last year's World Championships, find themselves in fifth position coming to the final phase this year. They're trying to move up to perhaps another two positions, but on the basis of the first part of their program so far, it doesn't look that way. a very difficult death spiral. Watch him pass her completely around him. Right here, right here, completely around, and around the back again. And they did not quite again get that one out. Just to the end of the same thing that they did in the national championship. They failed to complete that move. An extraordinarily difficult one, I might add. All of the pairs, certainly most of them, seem to be feeling the altitude on here in Colorado Springs. I might also add that they're doing extraordinarily difficult moves. These are not easy, and the slightest thing sets them off. Look at this. Cabriole lift. And a throw axle. A split twist. They didn't quite complete that one. And a final, final combination. Full wall jumps. And he pulls her into a back flying camel. And that's the end then, of the program. A long, long five minutes.
at 6,000 feet above sea level in an arena that's really quite warm tonight. It was a warm day here in Colorado. And what a sad moment it was for Melissa Militano and Johnny Johns. We're going to go back to the opening move, the spectacular move here right at the start. Here it is now. Watch them first step into this. Lutz position, split, triple, twist. Look at the height, an incredible position on that. That was just extraordinary, seen particularly from the angle that we're looking at it from. Now watch them step again into the moment that it started, the, in a sense, the downfall of this pair's program. And oh, that's a sad one, too. Watch him throw her into a double axle, a move they've done a 